Hey yo, this is Dash. And uh, I feel like I've been cheating on you guys. I've been doing some work. I've been working in the garage and I haven't actually showed you what was going on. But today, 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 I'm working on a charcoal basket for the new smoker. Hey yo, this is Dash. Yeah. yeah. All right, so I'm back out in the garage. And uh, I went and got some metal the other day. And part of that metal run was one inch. Uh, I don't even know if this is 11 gauge. I think that might be 3 16th. Uh, but it's one inch square tube. So with this one, I took my time and I made my measurements and I actually put 45s in here because when I did this one in Bessie and you see, I actually just finished the cook. So I'm gonna let the, the charcoal burn off. But with this one, we have vertical upright, we have one inch square tube at the top. So I'm trying to mimic, I'm trying to mimic what I did there. Now, unfortunately, well fortunately, I, so how I did this, I used the speed square, but I used this and had it off to the side, and I did actually, I messed up on one, you know. If this is supposed to be the butt, see that, that this is that joint? Yeah, it's, it's, something's wrong there. So hopefully I can figure something out to do with that later. But I got them all done. So basically what is gonna happen is the way I have this planned is the, so oh, this way. All right, so this goes in the smoker. Obviously this will be the front, then this will be the back. I'm gonna have the riser here, a riser there, a riser there, and a riser there. And then the, the part that I showed you, this part is gonna sit on top of the risers. So here are the risers. And the risers are just going to go in a corner like this, very similar to how they are in uh, Vicky, All right? Yeah. I actually have to go get some uh, 7525 Argon CO2. My tank is out, is dead because of a faulty regulator. Uh, because the regulator was faulty, um, all of my gas escaped which sucks because now it's like 90 bucks I think for that little tank that I have I probably should look and see if I can find somewhere else that might do the uh, do the tanks for for less than what Robert's oxygen charges but nonetheless I'm gonna do some research for a little bit and then I think I'm gonna try to get out and get that look at Vicky back there just steaming away I'm gonna try to go ahead and get that take taken care of so I can get the next steps completed with the All right, so I am out and about and uh, There's something I was going to tell you guys, but I can't remember I've already, you know, I think I have three stops I need to make right now. The first stop was I had to go to the post office I got a couple more stickers in the mail to you guys uh, Some of you guys that, are, that have made donations for clear money or beer money so there's always, as always, there's a link down in the description. It's, it says, care to buy me a beer. If you donate uh, five bucks or more um, to the cause, I will send out some stickers as long as your PayPal address has, and that your PayPal um, information has a shipping address. Um, other than that, uh, on to stop number two. I can't remember, or actually, shoot, I got four stops to make. I can't decide whether I'm going to go to Robert's Oxygen first and see if they can test the tank and see if my regulator was bad. And that's why I wasn't getting any um, CO2 Argon mix, or if I'm just gonna go out to Harbor Freight and get a new regulator and then see about exchanging a tank. I really hate that I, I don't know whether or not the tank has any <coughs> any gas in it, welding shielding gas. Um, and then I also have to drop off some prescriptions for my wife at the Wally World. So 
But yeah, let's get this started. Okay, so rather uneventful, um, $85 for a 60 cubic foot tank. Um, I really gotta try to find a, a cheaper su supplier. I know other folks are getting it less expensive, but it could just be my particular area, and this Roberts is only to like not even 10 minutes from away from my house. But uh, on to the next thing I do, I so I, I was hoping, I told you guys that I was hoping that the regulator was bad and that the tank wasn't empty but the tank wasn't empty and the regulator is bad so i'm going to uh because they had they had a regulator in there it was a it was a float ball or something like that it was like 225 dollars no then he had a regular regular regulator it was uh but it came with a hose and that one was 150 dollars or 140 dollars then he had one with no hose and it was like 120 125 I'm not spending that much money on a regulator. I'm gonna go to Harbor Freight and get one. The Harbor Freight regulator I had on there before, it lasted me five years? Five years. Uh, time to drop the prescriptions off for my wife at the uh, Wally World, and then I'm gonna head out to Harbor Freight real fast. All right, am I the only one that parks like way out, way out yonder? and this close to the little island thing so that there's this much room in between my vehicle and the next vehicle I'm wondering if it's just me Wally we're all done actually thought about getting a couple more bags of that charcoal while I was there unfortunately I have to hurry up and get back home well on to the next step I dropped those off so I'm hoping that I can head out to Harbor Freight, get the Harbor Freight, get what I need. Hopefully they have a regulator there, get what I need, and uh, get back here, pick up her prescription, go ahead on back home. We'll see how this all works out. All right. Yes, indeed. All right, let's hurry up. Hopefully we can get a regulator quickly. You know what I just thought about? I had another regulator I bought and it was actually the wrong one. That one was just for like an oxygen tank. Darn it, I was supposed to bring it back with me. All right, in and out. Only bad thing is they just remodeled this store and I don't know where anything is. So I actually had to help somebody or ask someone for help. But the regulator was 33 bucks and I had a 20% off coupon because it is, because it is Father's Day weekend. So, what is that, like six, seven bucks I saved? Yeah. And to think the one at Robert's Oxygen was, the cheapest one was $120. No way. All right, on my way back home now. Three weeks later. All right, so I am back out of the garage. This has been a, uh, <clears throat> been about a week or so since I was out here last, and I don't remember or not whether I showed you the progress on the this is going to be the top of the basket and I have my corners mitered and I got some more magnets for those so I can get these corners nice you know squared up nice and easily and then I think what I'm going to do now I have to take these open and apart and I'm actually going to knock off some of the edge in here so I can put a clean up the edge with the flap disc and then I'm gonna get this welded up. Uh, remember, I had to get a new tank of argon and CO2. I got that, then I had to get a new regulator. I got that, everything's squared away, and I'm getting ready to do what I need to do. Like I said, I need to clean up these pieces first, and then I'll get them welded up, and I'll get the square welded up for a rectangle. Gosh, like I don't know my basic shapes. And then <clears throat> we'll get the uprights cleaned up, and then get them welded onto there and this perch on top. All right, let's get it done.
Okay, so here we are. Here's a close-up view of some of those welds. And they look, some of them look better than others. I was playing with the settings and this is the best one for the, <clears throat> the top bracket. That was when I was messing with the settings. That one's a little cold. I might actually grind that down. I don't like grinding. This one's not too bad. It was before I adjusted the settings and this was again while I was playing with the settings. Then some of the welds down and around these corner pieces. So this one was pretty dirty, but I mean, for what I, what I need them to do, they'll be just fine. And so here we have the complete basket so far, or, or here we have the basket so far. Still not complete. I have to get the, uh, the expanded to go around it. And I think I'm going to use, this is the raised expanded. So I think I'm going to use this. This is a raised expanded and the, this is what I have left from the decking from the trailer. So again, that's raised expanded. You can kind of, not really on camera, you can't really see it. But this is what I'm gonna cut up to put on the outside edge of the basket. Okay, so I have <clears throat> pieces of expanded. Now hopefully you can see this is raised versus flat. So the raised expanded, I have it cut out basically where I'm going to have this one edge go and then fold it down and around and then I'll cut off the excess. But I'm gonna go ahead and get you guys set back up on your little perch. I'm gonna get this welded on, bent, and then cut off. So you guys have seen me get the first side welded on and bent around. I don't really think you want to see me watch the, watch me do the whole thing again. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera off. And actually, uh, well yeah, I'm gonna turn it off. I'll bring you back before I finish up and I get it tested in the, the uh, big smoker or the new smoker. Still haven't decided on the name just yet. Don't kill me. Uh, still haven't decided on the name yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this weld it on, weld it around, and then actually before I, I put it into the smoker, I'll show you guys the, uh, the surround once it's done. All right, I'll be back. All right, so here we have it. And you can see I put a weld on every piece that made connection, except for, for down at the bottom, but the sides and the this is the end piece, and that's the start piece over the other side. So, but all around the top, looks pretty good. Fairly happy with it. It, uh, it turned out pretty, pretty, pretty nice. All right, so I guess the next piece is, you guys are probably want to see, you guys are probably going to want to see it inside the actual smoker, huh? Bet you probably would. All right, let me get that set up. Damn it. All right. The, the tabs that are in here, I'm gonna have to 
lop off a little piece of it. I don't know if you can see it. This tab right there and that one right there, I'm gonna have to come and probably take an eighth inch off of it. Pretty damn accomplished. Yes. So you guys saw me finish that out, man. Oh man, oh man, it is a beautiful thing to start something. Gosh, I am sweating. It is hot. It is uh, probably close to 90 degrees today. And uh, it's warm. So, it is a beautiful thing to start something and then finish it. Uh, working on this charcoal basket has been like a week, week and a half challenge. I think I told you guys my wife went away. I really don't like working in the garage, especially doing any welding or cutting or things like that in case something happens and you know, I'd rather there be an adult around. So, it's done. You know what that means next. There will be a video coming soon on me actually using this charcoal basket. I would love to do it today. I have some other things I have to do in house. So I know that I'm not gonna be able to get that done. So I'm not even gonna start it, not even gonna try. I would like to be able to pay more attention to it when I get it fired up for the first time with a basket inside uh, with the basket inside hey so that is the end we've come to the end of the road on this one thank you guys so very much as always for watching if you haven't already please do subscribe if you like what you saw if you learned something today please leave me a thumbs up down below